and welcome back in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how you can look up and use the witty documentation and some of the forums they have available now I'll be honest I have not used the forums all that much look up bug you know bug reports or problems with the framework unless some I've unless I've looked at someone else's problems that I may have and I find a solution around it uh, I'll give you a good example I used to I was using the framework a couple of months ago to try to figure out how to use the C index in cascading style sheets. You know, if you use Witty, it has a class called Witty CSS Decoration Style. They don't have a direct implementation on how to use some of these CSS tags. And I was actually able to figure out how to use, I actually figured out how to use the Z index by just you know looking up somebody else's problem and I was able to find a solution how to use that with witty and I'll show you how to do that as we go along in this tutorial series so you know if you have a problem it's good to look up you know the problem that you have and you might be able to find a solution you know you got to think out of the box a couple of times or you can just ask you know they have a good support group over at webtoolkit.eu so let me just show you some of the things that you can use to look up the class, the classes and the enumerations and signals and slots. So if you bring up your browser and go to webtoolkit.eu and here's the home page. Let's see if I can make it a let's try to see if I can zoom out a little bit. And all you have to do is go under documentation and if you scroll down a little bit you can click on the reference manual and that'll just bring up the the deoxygen page where they have you know the library overview how to use unix windows some release notes a couple of examples and even some docu <clears throat> some examples that have documentation now i'll be honest since i've been using witty for a couple of months i don't really have to go to this too much but what I usually do is if I, if I know what a class already is, I do witty, like container widget, because I know how to use that glass. And they'll just bring it up and you just click on it. And their documentation is kind of like the QT documentation where they give you the structure of how, what classes inherit from other classes and what classes have children of that class. So as you can see, the witty container widget has quite a few other classes that inherit from it and you know you can just scroll, scroll down and just click on you know a function that you want to look at now I'll have to be honest the documentation is not as thorough as I would like and I you know again I have to be honest I'm not a expert expert when it comes to the witty documentation but one thing I have been able to do is that if I cannot figure it out with witty you can go to the forms or you can also go to the sister framework that this uh, library was inspired from and go to QT. So if you want to look up the witty abstract item model class, let's just do that. You know, because I'm looking into using that. Let's see. There we go. And see, it's, it's just like with QT. And if you really can't understand it all that well, because if you look at the documentation, you know, it's it's thorough, but it could be a little bit, you know, it can, you could add a little bit more to it. So I just looked up, you know, QT documentation or Q abstract item model. You know, you can just look at their examples. I mean, it's on a, a, a bunch of different pages. And they show you a couple of examples, even have some illustrations. You know, again, I'm not advocating that <clears throat> I'm an expert expert, but this is just to get you up and running. You know, everybody starts somewhere. And so, as you can see, this gives you a, a good bit of, of, of information that you would need to go ahead and start using this framework based on QT itself. Again, I'm not a, I'm not a big programming in QT, but I can see that this library was inspired from it. Uh, another thing you can do is, 
I have another site. If you go to redmine.webtoolkit.eu, <clears throat> and as you can see, they have three different projects. They have the, I guess it's Rega or Rega DB, the Java Web Toolkit. It's just like the C++ Web Toolkit. It's just in Java. And of course, Witty itself. And if you just click on that, I have an account to sign in. Uh, you know, I've signed in and registered. I don't use it all that much. But here is a place where you can actually get help. They have the forums. They have a wiki, which is very helpful. It gives you some tutorials and installation procedures. And they even have, you know, some contrib other contributions from people. If you want to look at other contributions or what other people have done. Let me see if I can do this. The Witty Tutorials. Here we go. We have some contributions from a couple of people that have used Witty in the past. Hopefully, you know, cross my fingers, I'll be able to ask them if I can contribute to that. But this, you know, this is just another place where you can actually get help from the uh, actual owners and programmers that have done Witty. So again, you have the Wiki forums. You even have the issues page. Uh, the roadmap of where Witty is today. They're working on several different versions of the library all at once. As you can see, they're already up to 4.0 as of today, which is March 17th, 2016. So this just gives you a couple of ideas that, you know, if you want to be able to look up the documentation in Witty, here it is for your enjoyment. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.